Hi friends, my, my name is Bishnu. Uh, this is my video tutorial regarding uh, reading the JSON file uh, and implementing it in the HTML. Uh, let us uh, see the structure of my application. This is my application. Here you can see there is one HTML page and this one unit.json. Uh, the name of the HTML page is HTML page 1.html. This is my unit.json file. The unit.json file has uh, key and its values and the values also had its own keys and values so for this uh, key header there are there are two there are these two data and for this question answers there are multiple of questions and answers so um, let's uh, see the html page here you can see that i have used uh, ajax call to read the to read the file from the server using the get method and asynchronous equals to true. Uh, true it means that it is as a call and it does everything behind the sub behind the scene. Uh, to do these are types of, to read more about this, uh, you can go to this link. I have included this here, so you can learn more about this one. So I'm not here to describe more about how it works. I'm here to describe how to how to read a JSON file and uh, manipulate it as per our need. So uh, first, uh, let us run this project or how the output looks. As you can see here, uh, there is a welcome and there is a date. So these are my header and date and these are my questions. So you can see this is kind of a dynamic because I can add uh, a list of other questions and answers by modifying the unit.json file. Suppose I want to add new questions, so I will copy this and I will paste here. So as I refresh it, I can see that there is a new question here. So question number five is for this is repeating it, no problem. So let us do this. So this is kind of dynamic. The, we need, just need to add a new question in unit.json and HTML page will automatically handle. So what I have done here is uh, here uh, this is like uh, uh, we have used a get method to read a unit.json file from the server. So right now it is locally available and this true is for asynchronous. Yes, it is asynchronous, so it is true. So uh, what uh, what is going here is uh, on ready state means if there is a file exist and if uh, status equals 200 means file exists then uh, then the um, then this variable uh, is for the JavaScript object so this um, converts the JSON object into JavaScript and uh, uh, response text because um, the uh, the the file is a JSON file so uh, else we have to use if it was XML, then we use a uh, pass.xml, or if it was uh, some other kind, we would use that. For now, we are using pass.json. Uh, right now, uh, my unit.json has uh, this type of structure. This header has head and date. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm creating this one variable, and for head, I'm going to pass uh, this JSON. So, this JSON. Let us uh, let us debug what this JSON is uh, bringing from the server. So uh, to the browser, I'm going to debug it. So so let us put a breakpoint here. So I have put a breakpoint here uh, for uh, this line. So if I refresh it, then I can see that it goes in this line. So I would like to copy this much. And in the console, let's paste it and see. So what you can see here is it is bringing header object and question and array answers. So this question and array as uh, array answer has four objects. So there are one, two, three. Let us go to here and see what it is bringing. It is bringing uh, what was uh, no? It was where was Buddha born? So it is Nepal Lumbini and uh, capital of Nepal Kathmandu and the largest country Russia and uh, length of data of China is this much. So this is like a key value pair. So this is a key. Yeah, this is a key. Uh, here you can see in the unit dot JSON. This is a key and this is a value. This is a key. No, sorry. This is a key and this is a value. And this is a key and this is a value. So this type of structure is available for the JSON. So uh, and uh, for this, it is just a one straight value. So we don't have to loop it for. But for this one, we need to loop it because there is this is a repetitive structure so we need to find it through index so this is index 0 this is index 1 this is index 2 and this is index 3 so 
let us go here and how see how we have uh, implemented it so this is uh, for the header and dead one variable for uh, head we need to pass it as json from here and dot header means this means uh, this uh, unit this header has head so json dot header has head and json dot header has dead so it's going to bring these two values and i have concatenated here so this is pretty much simple and uh, for variable uh, question and answer i have uh, looped it using the for loop so for every um, json there are questions and uh, question and answers so you can see here for uh, a json object this is the question and answer array and for each of them they have their own sets of questions and answers so uh, what i have tried doing here is uh, for uh, questions uh, i need to go to json dot question and answer and index because uh, we need i need to find out what uh, index it is for and for index uh, 0 to 3 it is going to loop and bring that value and i have concatenated here and by finally in these all uh, four will be concatenated concatenated and for displaying i have used uh, this div q and a uh, div and uh, its uh, html will be uh, given this value to show the header and the date so these are just um, some kind of styles and uh, you can avoid it but for me this looks uh, nice so i have used here so you can see for this uh, i have used green cloth this is that color it is not big deal so you can use it as per your choice and last it is uh, uh, it is sent in this x of the dot send not so this is how i have implemented it so this one this much for today so my next video will be on the angular js so if you want to learn angular js please uh, subscribe my video and i'll be posting and then i'll, I'll be uploading them as soon as possible um thank you for now bye bye take care